Welcome today to Rejoice and See with Ty and Betsy Tice. Our podcast today is called Sell in California and Buy in Texas. Bible reading, Exodus 13, 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so as to go by day and night. This verse explains how the Lord led the Israelites through the wilderness with a cloud by day and a fire by night. Today's story, it was time for me to retire. As our income would be seriously diminished, it became apparent that California was out of our reach financially as a place to live. Where should we go and when? One consideration had to be the ministry, FGRMC, that we were again called to lead. Having grown up in the Midwest, we were not fans of the cold. So we were heading south. That's where we wanted to go. The Lord reminded Ty of a place where the head of a ministerial organization in which he had been a bishop had spent some time. It was a place called Texarkana, Texas. Two cities in two states separated by a street appropriately called State Line. After investigating the two states, we found that Texas was favorable to the ministry and Arkansas was favorable to the Bible College. So this interesting place fit the bill. Now, we weren't quite ready to move yet. However, God gave us a strange directive. He told us to sell our little mobile in California, buy a house in Texas, and rent in California. We followed his directive. After our ministry conference in Missouri, we headed to Texarkana, a place we had never previously visited except gone through on trips, spent 14 hours straight looking at houses and bought a house. I want to step in here for a second and share a little story. When when we arrived at in Texarkana, we opened up the door and the extreme heat and the humidity hit us like a wet, hot blast. And Betsy looked at me with her mouth open, and she says, are you sure this is where God said we're supposed to be? Yep, it was. Although our house in California was on the market, it had not sold yet. A couple of months later, it sold. What the Lord knew that we didn't was that the housing market was about to crash in California. We sold our mobile for top dollar before the crash, and bought a nice house in Texas where housing was, at the time, considerably cheaper and the market a lot less volatile. Years later, sitting safely in our Texas house, I saw our mobile for sale at a greatly diminished price from what we had received. The Lord talks about how he will guide us with his eye. From his vantage point, he sees everything, everywhere, and in an eternal perspective. At our wedding, we sang a duet, Savior, like a shepherd, lead us, and how he has, praise his holy name. Here's a verse to ponder. Psalm 32, 8 through 10. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye, do not like be the horse or the mule, mule, which have no understanding, which must be harnessed with a bit and bridle, else they will not come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice you righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. And here is a prayer for today. Dear Lord Jesus, let us always live close enough to you 
so that we can receive your guidance and direction and make right decisions. Thank you for your providence and provision always. Great is thy faithfulness. We think of that old song, Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, unto me. And the truth is, loved ones, he is waiting just for you to open your heart and say, Lord, direct me in the path that you'd have me go. Why on earth, two years before we moved, we chose to buy a home in Texarkana, Texas? Because God told us to. He will direct your every step because unlike us, he knows our future and he has prepared for us if we follow him day by day and moment by moment. God bless you. sister, whether you're listening to this just as it was produced and put on YouTube, or whether you're listening to this three or four years from now, God has appointed time just for you that you're listening to this. Maybe you're in a situation where you're broken down, you're frustrated, you don't know what life has in store for you. Maybe you've sinned and you've fallen so far away from God you think He can't hear you anymore. But I'm here to tell you this morning that He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He does not change. All you need to do is say, Lord, I repent of my ways. And let me follow you as you take my hand and I walk with you. I'll go with him through the waters. I'll go with him through the waters. I'll go Can
can hear my say.